The internet was one of the worst inventions of all time. It's just a breeding ground for fake news and malware. But thankfully, there is a light in the darkness. Sneaky Hub. I'm only medium sneaky. Sneaky Hub is one of the most innovative Minecraft server free hostings of all time. This isn't your average free hosting. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Get out of here, Eternos. Shoo. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your server for the first time on Sneaky Hub. So what are we waiting for? Let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is head to the first link in the description. So we just want to enter in our username that we want, and then we want to enter our email, and then we want to create a password, and then click I'm not a robot, unless you are a robot. And there we go, we are now on our panel. Okay, so now we just need to verify our email account. To do that, we want to head to our email, and then we should see this. If you don't see it, you might want to check your spam or all mail folder. And we just want to go to here and verify email address. And there we go, now our email is verified. Okay, so now our next step is just to verify our Discord account. So if you don't have a Discord account, then go make one quickly. So we want to go to our account again, go to profile. And then we want to log in with Discord. And then click authorize. And there we go. That'll also join the Sneaky Hub Discord for you, which is actually the next step to earn some shards. So when we join the Sneaky Hub Discord for the first time, you'll want to just go and click complete and read all this and then click I have read the rules. And then we want to click this verify button. And then you'll receive a message from Wix. So we need to put ZQ. Of course, this is going to be different from me for you. And there we go, we have been verified. So now we can go to the Sneaky Hub Discord and we see all this. There are a lot of channels in this Discord. So we want to go to the Earn Shards tab. This is the main one that you're going to be using to get your shards to use your server. So we're going to do SH Eco. That's your like command prefix. And then we're going to do daily to earn our daily shards. So we just got 250 shards. And then we can also do stuff like SH Eco Weekly. And there we go, we got another 8,000, and we can also do SH Eco Monthly. And there we go, we got 2,500 or 25,000 shards, I don't know math. Okay, so now as we can see, we have a whole bunch of shards to make our server with. You only need 10 to create the server, but every hour it uses like so many shards depending on your plan. So to create our server, we want to go to our Servers tab and click Create Server. Name of the server, whatever you want. Literally call it whatever you want or it won't work. And then we want our server software. We're going to go with Minecraft or you can do games or voice servers. Or... We're just going to go with Minecraft paper. And we have all these different plans. Minecraft Extreme is going to be the most expensive while Minecraft Starter is just going to be the the cheapest option, you know? But that's what we're going to go with, just the starter option, because it is the cheapest and it doesn't require as many shards. And there we go, now we can click on manage, and that'll take us to the panel, so you just want to sign in with your account credentials that you set before. A few moments later. And there we go, we are now on the panel, so we can click on our server. Now before we start up our server, let's set the EULA to true. To do that, we want to create a new file, and in it, we are just going to put EULA equals true. Create file, and then type EULA.txt, and save it. So now we're just going to start up our server. And there we go, our server started up in 19 seconds. That's pretty fast for free hostings. So before we can even join our server, there's one more thing that I usually like to do. If you've watched my videos before, you know it's set in for secure profiles to false. It just causes so many issues. So we want to go to files, server.properties, and then we can search enforce, enforce secure profiles, set that to false. It just bugs the game. And while we're in here, we can also set our max players up. I'm going to set it to a massive number because I want a lot of players in my server. And then online mode, we're going to set that to false. That way it makes the server crack so you can join with a free version of Minecraft like T-Launcher. And now we just save. You can click the save button or the keyboard shortcut control S and then go back to our console. 
and we can restart or start our server three seconds later look at that our server started up in three seconds that is fast right there so now to join our server we just want to go and copy our little address right here you can just click on it and that is our address so now we can go into minecraft 1.20.1 and join our server okay so here we are in minecraft 1.20.1 the current worst version of minecraft and we want to go and click on multiplayer click on direct connection and then we can just paste our ip in and join it and here we are inside of our sneaky hub minecraft server there's really not much special to say about this but if you do want to make your minecraft server special and take it to the next level check out some of my other videos about minecraft server development hey thank you for watching until the end you are now an absolute gaming legend if you encounter any issues with this at all feel free to join my discord or leave a comment you can also ask for help in the sneaky hub discord but i have to self promo so i can get engagement and stuff Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Join all my Minecraft servers, buy my merch, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, that was really stupid. I, I don't know why I did that. Okay, I, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Time to edit this video. <laughs>